I am in Jax's room because today is cleaning day. Look at this mess. friends happy saturday i am in jax's room because today is cleaning day look at this mess well, let's see how it goes but we're gonna make this look awesome
everyone. I have been cleaning for so long. I don't even know, maybe three or four hours, but his room is clean. I got a thank you and then he disappeared into it. So he's 11, but I'm dying. My throat hurts from the dust. I haven't ate or drank anything since my cereal at like 10.30 after the groceries came. My husband's been outside looking up cables and continuing to clean the patio. We should have outdoor speakers that he bought off of a neighbor that was moving. We also have that new camera to install today, maybe tomorrow. So that will be cool to actually have our camera. Oh, did he change it already? No, that's dusty. That's gotta be yellow phone. Anyway. All that to say, I need to eat and apparently clean up because my children can't clean up and drink. I need to drink a lot. I'm so thirsty. All right, I'll see you later. just had a little snack, some rice cakes and peanut butter and carrots and popcorn. Yeah, just whatever. But uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning coming through. So I just moved all the plants up here. As much as I love when they get rain, I do not want them to be knocked over like that last little storm. Uh, but let me show you how they're doing. They're a little wilted right now because I just gave them a little bit of a belated watering. They will perk back up. But this tomato plant here has a whole cluster of about five tomatoes going on. Is it supposed to be all weird and bumpy down there? Like, what is that? I don't know anything about these. This other one is was a little behind, but he's got some tomatoes going on there. And in there. I don't know what a, that person was saying when they stopped at the stop light, stop sign. But here are red bell peppers going. There's a little baby right there. No Thai chilies yet. I don't know how, when that goes. These are my sunflowers. Is this where the flower's going to come out? Because I wanted it to be a whole lot taller. Is these just leaves coming out? Because like that looks like it's going to be a flower. Right? I don't want him to be that short. And this guy right here, it looks like the flower. But I guess because they're container sunflowers, we get what we get. So that's fine. Zinnias are about to bloom and I just read about deadheading them. I'm really curious to see the color. It looks kind of magenta right there. I wonder what the petals will be. So yeah, that is my plants. There's some baby red peppers growing in here too. I'm kind of out of breath because I'm having a hard time breathing from all the dust. <clears throat> but everybody's safe. Watch the storm go around us. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you right now.
I was about to push my glasses up and I don't have them on. If you're in glasses, where do you do that? I'm like, so yeah, I can't see across the room, but I was just in the bath and didn't feel like putting them mask on yet. Nothing really to see. Sebastian is in the bath now. I cooled it down. So I've just been getting things ready. I am in some pajamas prior to Animal Crossing. Well, during Animal Crossing, I guess. I'm doing... Yeah, I had Animal Crossing first, I guess, Wild World, but not New Leaf. So in between Animal Crossings. I played Rock Band. Rock Band 2 was my big one, I believe. And I was all in. I did vocals, platinum vocals, like expert level. And I did the never ending set list, singing all of them, um, running to the bathroom when there was a long break in the singing because <laughs> you have to chug water bottles, which means lots of bathroom breaks. But I think. I don't remember, was it was like three hours of singing, but I made it. Uh, I was really into it and I had a great group of friends I met on the rock band forums. So every Wednesday night at nine, we would get together and have band practice. <laughs> and regularly at night, I would go on Xbox Live and just do random singing for bands, they would just pair you up with the rest of the instruments and somebody would get to choose the song and yeah, loved it. But then I got pregnant at the same time that our drummer was expecting his first child. So it kind of didn't work out when you had a baby to be super loud. <laughs> so we kind of drifted apart, never really got into rock band three got myself a DS and got New Leaf and it's just been Animal Crossing since then but every now and then we like to fire up Rock Band or Beatles Rock Band and just jam out. So love it. Oop, just ran into that. Anyway, today was cleaning day as you saw. Nijax is in charge of cleaning his own room. I'm not the kind of mom that cleans up for my 11 year old every day but like twice a year, three times a year maybe, I do a deep clean because I don't expect him to really have the skills to like super dust clean and vacuum all the nooks and crannies. I usually I do the vacuuming because I don't want it to break my vacuum because <laughs> he would. He'd get something stuck up in there and then I wouldn't have a vacuum which would be a crisis. So yeah, I'm okay with doing a deep clean. It gives me a chance to go through all his clothes, pull out the ripped ones. You might have seen later that I took some of his ripped t-shirts and I was cutting them into squares because I'm going to make him a blanket out of some of his favorite gamer shirts. I think that he picks at his hem right here without knowing it because all of his shirts are getting ruined there. Before it was socks and he, I still do find ripped up socks like the, the top of the socks would just be shredded and there's piles of sock strings everywhere. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I dusted everything, I organized, I like to organize because he has no organization skills, so I reset everything and then maintain that for a while until enough new stuff comes in from birthdays and holidays that it gets overwhelming for him and it's time for me to deep clean and organize again. So all is good, I got that all sorted. He had a few tasks to do as well, but it took so long and I was so dusty and my allergies are really bad now. Got that husky voice going on. <clears throat> like I just sang the never ending set list. But after that, I just had to eat. I was shaking. So you saw right after I'd eaten, I brought the plants up to the porch because a big thunderstorm was coming through, but it went just south of us, so the plants went back down. I was watching the radar and just a nice medium rainstorm was coming and it was perfect for the plants, just steady, straight down, no wind. I'm sure they loved it. Hang on, I'm almost done, so you start cleaning up. <laughs> it's so late, he needs to get out. But our friend is here. Yvonne, he came to help my husband 
run wires and set up outdoor speakers. I don't know when, but maybe six months ago, somebody in our neighborhood was moving and posted Sonos speakers, like an indoor speakers, like a Sonos set. And my husband commented, oh wow, that's such an amazing deal. I paid more and I thought I got a great deal. And the guy who was moving out of the country said, hey, I have some this and that and some outdoor speakers. If you're interested, I could sell you those as well since you don't need the other part, the sound bar and stuff. And so those have been in our dining room in a box <laughs> and he's finally wiring them up. He's been cleaning up out there. So hopefully as this heat wave goes away, we'll be able to enjoy the patio. It's just been brutal. Today was the peak of this week long heat wave. And I know they were predicting our heat index would get up to 107. I wasn't paying attention because it was indoor cleaning, so I don't know if we made it to that. I'll have to read the news later. But after I'd eaten, I dealt, dealt with the plants and then I just like curled up on the couch. I was like, I just need to sit for a little bit. But it quickly switched to me doing Jax's laundry. He is incapable of folding clothes. How old were your kids when they could properly fold a shirt? So I helped him with that and we also together went through his shirts and pulled out the ones where the frayed hems were past the point of looking decent on you. Like I show him how they start to pucker and then they, the stitches start to rip and then it more more rips out and then finally the hem drops down and it's flopping around. That, at that point I'm like no it's gotta go. So we got enough out to make like a checkerboard blanket and I was doing the cutting and stuff while my husband was like pinning wires to the house, I guess, like those little nails with a little hook for wires. And it, it went on quite a while. He was talking about going and picking up Mexican food, but two hours passed and finally at like seven or something, he went and got it with Sebastian and Yvonne. So we ate. Mexican food, which was not as good as usual. I mean, it's already not as good as eating at the restaurant on the patio, but they totally forgot my sides. It normally comes with beans and rice, so I just had guacamole tacos. Not the end of the world because everything is so salty. But and then their steak burritos didn't have a lot of steak, but whatever, it was still delicious. And then I inhaled my last piece of birthday cake and took a nice bath because rainstorm made me feel really chilly. Anyway, I'm gonna get this guy out of the bath. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Welcome if you're new. I am Stephanie and I make a video every single day. Uh, stay safe, be kind, don't forget, wash your hands. Wash your hands.